Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. The Boston Bruins have made another signing. Let's talk about it. The Bruins signed forward Carson Kuhlman to a two-year deal with an average annual cap hit of $725,000. Last season with the Bruins, he played in 25 games, scoring a goal and five assists for a total of six points, and he was a plus three. His entire NHL career, he's played 36 games, scoring four goals, seven assists for a total of 11 points, and is a plus eight for his career. He's a 5'11 right shot winger, undrafted player. He's in and out of the lineup for the Bruins recently. The biggest change the Bruins made involving Carson Kuhlman was taking David Backus out of the lineup in Game 7 against the St. Louis Blues and putting in Carson Kuhlman. He brings a lot of speed, but other than that, I don't really know why the Bruins are so high on this guy. So now I'm going to give you my thoughts on the deal. The Bruins just let Joakim Nordstrom sign at the league minimum of $700,000 on a one-year deal. Now, I realize we get Kuhlman for two years, and he's younger, but point being is I really don't see what Kuhlman brings to your lineup, and with how little cap space you have, even though this is a smaller contract, it's eating away at that. There's plenty of time for Sweeney to make a trade or even sign another free agent, but the cap's getting tight, and I feel like even though Carson Kuhlman brings a good amount of speed, I don't really know what he does at the NHL level. Clearly, he has a lot of trust in the team, getting thrown in there Game 7 over a veteran like David Backus, who would have played against his old team. That was a bold move, and clearly you have to trust the player. The coaching staff might see something in this kid that I don't see. Management clearly sees him working hard in Providence and thinks he deserves a call-up. Anton Bleed is a similar player. I think Kuhlman is way better than Anton Bleed, but that's not saying much. But Bleed will play like five games for the Bruins every year, and that's just because he's working hard, and management sees that, and he kind of give him a little bit of a reward. I see Kuhlman being our 13th forward. I don't think he even makes this lineup. I think Wagner gets in over him. Corrali gets in over him. Some of the other kids probably jump him, like Jack Stanika, Trent Frederick. Maybe even a Seneshin makes the leap this season. Even though Nick Ritchie had a horrendous playoff, I would even see him making the lineup. And if our right side is fully healthy with guys like Pasternak, Kasha, and now Craig Smith, it's going to be tough for Kuhlman to play on that right side. So he might have to play either wing. But if you want to go younger or bring in some speed that night in the lineup, I'm fine throwing Carson Kuhlman in. I'm just not going to get excited and say this is Don Sweeney's best move of the offseason, even though it's been a slow offseason for the Bruins. Let me know your thoughts on the deal down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like. And if you haven't already, subscribe.